I'm Jennifer Jones and welcome to the Everest Canadian Curling Club Championship live here at West Edmonton Mall and we are in our final day semi-final action here this morning both on the men's and women's side the final four losers are eliminated the winners will advance to the championship final this afternoon and I know the curlers are really excited to be here having just a great time and as you can see with our little spinorama uh, it's just been a fabulous week um, but now you can feel the intensity and the adrenaline rush and a little bit of nerves out there I think it's uh, this is where it's at the, the players really want to win this championship so I'm sure we're in for a great game today our feature game is focusing on team Alberta and team Ontario on the men's side both tremendous teams and the other men's game is Northern Ontario against Quebec and on the women's side we have Ontario facing off against Nova Scotia and New Brunswick against Quebec. And our the lead from Team Alberta is going to start us off here. This is Nathan Relitz. Alberta won two big games yesterday. Playing just tremendously well. I was talking to the teams they played against, and they just said Robert Johnson made everything. There wasn't really much else they could do. They have a great end set up, and Robert would come in there and take it all away. So a nice guard. And now the traditional come around from Ontario lead Trevor Talbot. Line's good, play the weight. Sit down. Okay. Uh, just a, like we talked, maybe a little bit of an adrenaline rush, just a little bit heavy on that first stone by Trevor, but it hangs around, and that's really the key. So we're seeing a, a, a hit from Alberta lead Nathan Relitz, trying to stick around so that Ontario cannot play the open come around. And they the hit and stay and actually got right behind cover. But you can see here how uh, Ontario skipped Greg Balsden's going to play the freeze all the way down to this stone here. And the reason being is that th there's so much movement in this in this ice. If he makes the freeze, uh, Ontario or Alberta is probably forced Mine's to play wider. a freeze as well. And if not, you can peel the guard and you have a perfectly frozen stone. Okay. And looks like we're still heavy here. The boys are backing off this, and the line is quite wide. I just need this. Trevor's uh, ticked off with himself on that one. So now, uh, with that miss, Alberta gets to make a come around to the top of the forefoot. And that come around attempt is a little bit light. And as we've seen throughout the week here, amazing ice, but it's very weight sensitive, which is what you want, exactly what you want. This is some of the best ice I've ever seen. But when you throw it light, it will curl early and take the speed off. Okay. Let's take it down. Tons of room. Just 
Just let it die. Ontario is heavy again here. This is coming down. Okay. And it'll be in the back eight foot. Actually, that's the weight was fairly close. Uh, so now this is uh, where you have to decide. And it looks like Alberta is just going to play the freeze. You could also come around to the top four foot, given that those guards are staggered. But I, I like this freeze because Ontario would play the double peel. And a very nice come around attempt, so a little bit short of where they wanted to be, but they did manage to come around top four, and as I predicted, the double peel from Ontario. Very nice double peel. Would like to have rolled the shooter off just a little bit more. It was a little bit hard to do, but if you could have got uh, hit it a little bit higher, even if all the guards don't go out of play, they would have rolled to the side. But very good shot. But we'll see another guard here from Team Alberta. I got my traditional have fun, Stu, from Stu. He just finished announcing, and I've never, I mean, I've seen Stu around since 2002 at the Scotties, and he's always very excited about these events, but he's got an extra set of, a little bit of adrenaline for this event. Just loves seeing the players so excited and can't stop talking about how it's just so fun to be around them. An audible here, I think, from Team Alberta. They were a little bit heavy, so trying to find a way to maybe make the freeze, and unfortunately does not get deep enough. So this will be a double delay, too, for Ontario. And I am fortunate here, very lucky to have uh, Mark Duffy from Everest Funeral Concierge join me in the booth. Um, Wait, easy! So, Mark, how has it been so far? Oh, it's been great. Wait. What a what a great week of uh, curling, and what Wait. an incredible Wait. venue. Could you feel, I saw you on ice uh, at the beginning of the game, could you feel the extra kind of adrenaline excitement from the players in the last playoff, uh, playoff Saturday? Oh, off, absolutely. It's, uh, it's electric. Uh, and, you know, it's such a great, it's a great place. There's a lot of fans here. Uh, it's a sunny day. Uh, it's a big facility, nice arena. Perfect, perfect for this event. It really is, isn't it? Absolutely. I was just saying I could even watch, even pre against practice. Usually the players are talking, we're chatting into this morning. They were all focused, had their stopwatches out, trying to see the ice. You can see that they really want this. This is a big deal for these players. Uh, and that's a, a miss there from Lyle Kent rolling out. Uh, missed the guard and now missed the, the hit and stay. So an opportunity for Ontario to lie too. Yeah, everybody here is, you can tell, they're focused. I mean, it's... Uh it's, uh, they it's, want it's this. lots of fun. Yes, absolutely. They want to this call is them great curling. They want to call themselves Canadian <coughs> Championships, or cha champions. Don't you feel that? Absolutely. Absolutely. And what do and the winners get? What do the winners get? Well, they're going to get uh, championship jackets, and then they're going to have uh, custom the uh, rings made. Oh. What good? And uh, it's the same, same company that does the World Series yeah. rings. No so, way. Yes. And oh. so it's... Uh, they're, they're, they're quite fun to put together, actually. No, uh, Do they get to decide? Yes, yeah, they'll be part of the decision. The heat, uh, and there's some real uniqueness we can put it together, and there's only be four of them made, no, no, so no, 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 no. Uh, it'll be great. Amazing. What a sweep there from Team Ontario. They are trying to get that in for second shot a little bit short, but the big reason, the big they needed to get that in the rings. We're going to see here, Mark, that we're going to try to probably make a hit and stay on the stone but unless we make a good roll, very likely that there will be still a double attempt for Team Ontario. So although this stone didn't get in for second shot, uh, it's still, it's pretty easy to make that rock count at some point throughout this end. So what do you, how long does it usually take for people to decide on what their rings look like? 
Uh, actually, because <clears throat> most uh, most people haven't ever designed a ring yeah, before. Yeah, that's what I mean. You know? And so, uh, yeah, we give them a lot of time. Uh, give them a lot of different options. Here's some thoughts, you know, provincial crest on one side or or whatever. Um, and it's and it's a lot of fun. So it's it's theirs, and they'll remember that for and, a long, long time. And what kind of jackets do they get? Well, they have uh, the kind of the jackets that we're wearing, except they'll say, you know, national champions. Oh, amazing. I'll never. Oh, and a big roll there again. What a shot there by Robert Johnson. Really needed to, to roll, like I said, to make sure that you didn't bring that top red stone into play. And there's no way that it'll be coming to play. But we still have uh, Greg Balls in here has a come around attempt that he can try to get his two points. Like I said, everybody I talked to yesterday who lost to Team Alberta said Robert Johnson just made everything and he's starting off that uh, that way today. Yeah, they're quite the hot team right now. Yeah, they're playing well. So Canadian Championship jackets, unbelievable. Oh, it's so fun. It's also so fun to put them together and get it to them and uh, yeah. have them wear them. And, uh, you know, we could be more proud. Yes. And then you're yes. off to Yarmouth for the Canadian seniors as well, right? Yes, actually. Yeah, this is uh, this is Everest uh, curling season. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we're really looking forward to it. You know, seniors was our very first event and uh, it's a special place in our hearts. And so we can't wait to get there. It, it's uh, a lot of fun, and we are, as we were talking about yesterday, it's all the players, pretty much the seniors is everybody that's played at the Scotties and Briar, won Scotties and Briars over the years. Like, the level of play is unbelievable, but the camaraderie, these players have known each other for so long. It's just such a great event. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And the, 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 the quality of the curling is incredible. I mean, it, you, you look at somebody like Sherry Anderson's team, I mean, they're just a beast over there. Oh, I know. <laughs> Last year, she started not very, they didn't start strong. They lost a couple of games early, and then she gets on a roll, and then she won it again. Well, well that's how, the, that's they how find they've a way done to win. it every year. Oh, really? They're, they're, they, their back is to the wall. If they lose, they're out, then they win. Yeah, that's so I've true always champions. Told them, I said, yeah, it's <laughs> like, you guys just need to lose early and then finish it. Yeah. So a, a big, big shot here from Robert Johnson. Uh, Greg Balsden actually is trying to make me look bad, I think, because he f managed to get to Shotstone and tap it far enough so that the Ontario is lying first and third. This is a must-make freeze from Robert Johnson. And the sweepers lost it a little bit. They could have made that a little bit better, but very good spot. So I'm play it a little tighter. Greg's very good at explaining what he's going to do. But I think he's going to come down and try to have that back eight weight, same weight he just had, and tap shot stone Board. right here to to miss. To I'll let him chat. Solid, solid hack. I think that's probably a little bit too much weight. And you, it, hack is good. Once you say solid hack, you tend to overthrow it. It just is in your mind, that word that I can't be light. But... Uh, so going for three. So he's saying there is an opportunity to go for three because you could go... You could make that shot. And hack weight would do it. This rock doesn't have to move very far to outcount this redstone at the top. What a start to this game, Mark. I know, it's so exciting. Yeah. It's great. Big shot, nice shot from Robert Johnson. But an opportunity here for two, maybe three. Oh. Post. Post. Yes! Oh. They are going to have to Whoa. work on this. No! No, it looks like it's running straight. They're trying ah. to make it curl. And a little bit high, and that will be, it looks still like one for Ontario. But as I said earlier, you tend to overthrow those. That was a little bit strong, so you missed the sweep. But that's a big score of one to start this game off. one nothing Ontario over Alberta.
Welcome back. It's Jennifer Jones here in West Edmonton Mall at the Everest Canadian Curling Club Championship, Curling Club Championship on Playoff Saturday. We're in the semifinal action, and I'm joined with Mark Duffy in the booth right now from Everest Funeral Concierge, the great partner for curling. Everest has done so much to promote the game of curling, both on the senior level, uh, now at the Curling Club Championship level, and really just all levels. They just love curling and are a, a tremendous partner. So thank you so much, Mark. Thanks for coming in the booth to say hello. And uh, it's a pretty good spot I get to watch from, isn't it? Oh, it's absolutely great. And, and thank you so much, and thanks for all that you've done to help us because... If it wasn't for you and Randy Furby, we wouldn't be here. So mm, I don't thank know about you very that, much. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for always yeah. including right. me. Like and waiting. maybe we can get you in the booth just for a quick hello in the final. Well, let's do that. Sounds good. Okay. Have a great game. Thank you. All righty. So with that score of one in the first end, Ontario is trying to put that stone at the top of the forefoot. Alberta is quite content to keep this fairly simple by the looks of things. And this will be just an open hit and stay. For lead, Nathan Relitz. And just rolled out, so this will... Sorry, I had to sneeze there. This will be an opportunity for Ontario to throw up the guard. Get it out there, Trev. Mine's good. Looks and good. Again, it looks maybe just a little bit heavy. I think, uh, I think Trevor had his Wheaties this morning, as we say. Yeah, He's just been a just little bit... Strong, but that will Good. stop. Perfect spot. Greg has had tons of experience. You can hear him talking about the rocks, and they believe that that rock Trevor is throwing is just a little bit straighter, which means it won't curl as much. And typically, a straighter rock actually will be a little bit faster because it just doesn't curl as much. It doesn't travel over as much of the ice. come around attempt and this will be a little bit strong Just clean it. Good. Nice, nice shot. A nice hit and stay. So again, Team Alberta is just going to try to make sure they hit and stay on this rock, prevent Team Ontario from making the come around. Second for Alberta is Steve Thomas. And just to give you a little bit of update on some of the games out here, we have a one nothing Northern Ontario lead over Quebec, and that's on the men's side. And on the women's side, a big score of three by Team Ontario uh, over Team Nova Scotia to start that game off in the first end, and New Brunswick opening with two over Team Quebec. Alberta made the hit and stay. But an opportunity now to throw lighter takeout weight, maybe hack weight, and try to get the roll behind the guard. It would be a good chunk of the forefoot, maybe even in the button if you could do that. Yeah. Okay. Second Curtis. Clean. 
Samoy. Sure. Trying to make this curl. Looks like okay, it might be okay, a little okay, bit okay. strong. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I think it's just going to roll away. Looks like a little bit too much weight on that. And it just, it won't curl. So we always say that you throw the right weight, good things happen. But on arena ice, if you throw it a little bit strong, it just runs that much straighter and you won't, you won't get the roll. And this is a hit and stay out in the wings from Team Alberta. They've been sweeping this the moment that Curtis, or the, sorry, that Steve let this go. And a nice shot, hit and stay. It's not a baseball, uh, not baseball signs from Gray's Balds in there. He is, those are signs that you use to let the player know what speed to throw, what kind of takeout weight. I'm not sure what that is for them. It looks like a control weight coming down the ice. And again, they're trying to make this curl. Okay, right on the nose. Okay, okay. Again, we usually see that side of the street a, sheet a little bit straighter. I think the first person to make this roll, so now, now that this stone is above the T line and the roll would be above the T line, Team Alberta would really like to get behind cover. Lyle Kent. And this is running a little bit straighter, but they're staying close. Trying to make it curl to make the roll. And a pretty much a nose hit. I always say hit and rolls are one of the hardest shots to to make perfect. Usually easier with the lighter weight. Just taking a peek over at the Ontario Nova Scotia women's game and Nova Scotia gave up three in the first end and I looked over and it looks whoa. like Ontario is lying Watch four out. buried. Whoa, whoa. Great start for the ladies from Ontario. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, Michael, oh, Michael. just missed the roll. It's so hard to call them perfect. They thought they had made it and it rolled just that little bit too far. But changes the shot. That indicates that you want back eight weight. You want your shooter to go to the back eight and they're wanting to tap this to the back of the forefoot. Here's Lyle Kent, this tap attempt. Again, broken record here, but the idea is you gotta make sure you throw the right weight. And this looks like it's a little bit light, and as you can see, because it's light, it's gonna over curl. Just a little bit light. We haven't played that side of the sheet this end, so it was kind of a guess. That's the problem with throwing those in between weights. It becomes a very much a, it's very hard to make those shots. They're the most challenging shots to know where to put the broom and the weight to throw. Like, yeah, like for here. Greg, tell us what his plan is. What do you, what do you like? <laughs> what do you, Whatever you like. Uh, I, uh, it's guard for now. The options are to guard or to, Try, hang it on this side of center. to come around. They're just not sure exactly where to put the broom. And Greg doesn't want to set up some kind of double. They're in a really good position right now. So just the guard on his first. Oh, Then. This will slow down a little bit based on what we saw from Lyle Sweep Kent. It if it's in. 
And Greg's saying sweep it if it's yeah, in because you don't it. you don't want to rub the guard. And unfortunately, I think they've lost uh, that. But that's a pretty good spot. Nice shot. Alberta's not going to have much of a choice. They're going to have to throw the run back. Going to line this up. That's, if this rock was here, was slightly higher, you could maybe, and it may still be there, it's hard to tell on the screen, you could maybe hit that on the outside, it would then touch that one and come straight back and you could likely get all three of them gone. But I, I, th I think he's just playing the run back. I don't know if that rock is high enough. So hit almost nose of the stone, just slightly off nose, and it should make the double. And then you hope Greg Balsden doesn't put it back in such a perfect spot, and then you can make the draw to out count it. Got that a little bit inside. The worst possible result. Now right these guards, yep. as we are call, are staggered. You can't you make a run back because you can't there. hit enough of the stone to make it go straight back like, like you'd need to do. So now we're going to see Greg Balls and draw <laughs> around and lie too. And that's going to force Team Alberta to try to draw to the side of the button there and you probably give up yeah, to right. only give up one if this is made properly. Big opportunity here for Team he, Alberta, and it all came, came back to that tap that over curled. Getting stuck in some prints out there, and brooms ain't gonna do nothing when they go over it. You just gotta watch for them and pick them out. Uh, top four. Very well yeah, aware yeah, yeah, of the yeah, ice I conditions. Mean, about the line but if the weight comes off it should get in there just like that what a shot from Greg Balsden they could have swept it another couple of inches to make that full four but like I said I don't see a score for Team Alberta you can't outdraw this whoops pardon me you can't outdraw this stone right there so this one here so what they're opting to do is play this takeout like jam it on the stone here and just give them one. They feel it's the easiest way to to hold Team Ontario to one. Very hard to make this double. You'd have to throw this a million miles an hour to make that double and roll out for the blank. So I don't, you'd have to really hit that front stone thin. I'm not even sure if it's there for Kevin Cooey. So this will be a hit attempt. Throwing it fairly hard. He's trying. And that over curled. Just over curled. And unfortunately, that will be a steal of two for Team Ontario. And 3 nothing lead over two ends of play.
Welcome back to the Everest Canadian Curling Club Championship. It's semifinal action. 3 nothing lead from Team Ontario over Team Alberta after a big steal of two points in the second end. And to update you, it looks like Nova Scotia found a way on the women's side to score a single point. It's 3-1 Ontario over Nova Scotia. And on the other games, I will update you, they're still playing their second end. Looks like... Line's great. Actually, it looks like Northern Ontario with a steal of two, similar to our game. They're they took a 3 nothing lead over Team Quebec. Nice throw. And that's on the men's game. And then the other women's game is Quebec and North New Brunswick. And that, that game is still in the second end. But it looks like the skip from Team Quebec may have a shot for three. And they overswept it. So I think they only got two, but it's hard to see maybe only one. And this is a tough way to start an end for Team Alberta after giving up two. Nathan Relitz puts his, his draw in the house. Clean. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I th think the stone just it just grabbed. It just went sideways. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that will be a, a miss. An open miss from Team Ontario. Trevor looks confused. Not sure what happened to that. So now Alberta will try to guard their yellow stone. That guard can still not be removed from play. Oh, and it does look like Quebec got there too. So it's a tied 2-2 in the women's other women's semifinal with Quebec and Nor New Brunswick. And a nice guard from Team Alberta. That guard can't be removed from play. So Greg Balsden could elect to guard the red stone at the top of the forefoot or uh, play this corner freeze. Being up three nothing, he wants nothing to do with guards and just is gonna is quite content to play in the house. Second, Curtis Samoy. Close. Whoa, whoa. Mine's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trev, go. Yeah, you can go. Yeah, you can go. You can go. That's fine. Good. Nice shot. But you can see that it almost acts as a little bit of a guard on the yellow stone. So might make it a challenge later in the end. This is a hit and stay. Got to make sure you don't nose this or you will set up a double. And they roll just enough. When these two rocks are even, like even this way, there's no double. You can't, it's very hard to make a rock go straight sideways. Hard! Okay, 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 okay. And nose hit, a little bit of a roll. 
now I know it would probably be okay because the redstone would be in the way. I still think I like trying to hit and roll over to the other side. Yes, like that. Spread them around. And uh, Team Alberta removes it from play, but rolls out of the rings. So we'll see the peel from Team Ontario. Just important to, it's really important to stick around in the house for Team Alberta, but they rolled out, so the peel, peel is coming. No. Clean jumps! made the run back actually just hit it a little bit thick so not a bad result still the guard up team alberta is going to keep guarding shot stone this is a guard from lyle kent I'm on it halfway. You probably want to clean this from the sounds of it. This ice. Greg Ball's is noticing a bunch of carpet fibers in the ice, and that just happens when players walk on the carpet and then they come back on the ice. Um, so we try to stay off the carpet if we can. And then when the ice is a little bit soft, it just sticks in the ice. And the peel from Ontario. Whoa! Okay, I got it. I got it. Don't worry. And the peel is mean. Another guard. I think we'll see this for a couple of shots. And that's going to come in a little bit too tight. So that makes the run double a lot easier. Greg Balzin's going to try to run this stone back. Whoopsie. Back. Catch this red, which will then catch that yellow. And that yellow should go out of the rings. And when there's less space, it gives you a lot more room for error. As long as he doesn't under curl, he should make contact right with the red stone. Right on the nose is ideal. Just missed it, super unlucky. Just Feather ticked it. Uh, and now an opportunity, if Alberta can make a good shot, to maybe get three. So the decision time for Team Alberta, do you go open side over here and just say, okay, we're ha happy, let's just take our two? Or do you play this come around way back here and maybe get a miss out of Team Ontario and get their three. I think you go to the open side. I like this call. Two is big in this game right now.
So the open draw to the open side. Needs full eight foot here to make sure he lies two. Right on the T line is ideal. And they're working this, trying to get it there. And it comes up just that little bit short. Good news for Team Alberta is that Yellowstone is completely buried. Oh, you can't wreck ours. He's got the hit. Yeah, no, right here. Screw it. Yeah, sure. So uh, we no, kind of like got the him. tail end of that conversation, but Greg Ball has been saying, yeah, I think they were talking yeah. about maybe trying to tap that back. The problem is, is if you ever were to wreck on this guard, then it would be a hit for three for Team Alberta. So it sounds like Team Ontario is electing to play this. Oh boy, sorry. Play this come around to the back and force like the, the run back from left Team left Alberta. Or is that heavy? Line's good. Line. A little, little trip. Little trip. Yep. Looks like it's curling early. Line's good. Hard Curtis. And that is a perfect come around attempt. Greg Balson came to play today. That is a great shot. So now decision time for Team Alberta. The options for them are to play this run back for two. Uh, they may be able to see enough of this stone. They don't have to move it very far. They only have to move it a couple of feet. Try to tap it back there. Or they would just have the same draw to the top of the button for one. And they've elected to play this run back. It's a must make for Team Alberta. Welcome back, sir. A little bit of trouble there, but that was an incredible shot from from uh, Skip of El Team Alberta, Robert Johnson. Just amazing to score their two points. Alberta needed that. What a shot! So now we'll see. It's uh, kind of see if the momentum they can carry that momentum wave here into the fourth end. Put some more pressure on Team Ontario. Now this is a. A guard attempt from the lead, Nathan Relitz. So 
Semi-final action. This is uh, so much fun. Nice guard, and we'll see the come around. Line's good, you got enough lots of line. Line's okay. It's gotta be heavy on that line. Uh, yeah, take her deep. Take her deep. And just a little oh, bit sorry. strong again. Trevor Talbot's, as we say, has a little bit of a case of the heavies. He's just a little bit heavy on his draw attempts. He might have some faster stones, but it's just a matter of trying to figure out how much he should take off. And now the freeze call from Team Alberta. And it basically makes sure that the stone at the back of the 12 foot won't come into count as a second point. So you want this right back to it. And well made, perfect frozen stone. That redstone likely will not count in this end. So now the come around attempt from Team Ontario, and they don't mind being frozen, or they could be at the top of the forefoot, but they do want to be shot rock here. Mine's a little tight. Keep it go. Keep it going. Whoa, clean. And another nice shot. Nice shot, Trip. So we'll see another freeze attempt. This Alberta wants to make sure they're frozen. They want it right back at the back of the forefoot. Just some more updates. It looks like Quebec has stolen one against Team New Brunswick on the women's side. And in the other women's game, Ontario came back with two points to go up 5-1. Meredith Harrison uh, from Nova Scotia had a really good chance on her first rock to put a ton of pressure on Team Ontario and unfortunately wrecked on the guard and allowed Chrissy Godoran to make a draw. She made it and there was nothing Meredith could do. And on our other men's game, just trying to take a peek. Uh, and Quebec took their single point. So it's 3-1 Northern Ontario over Quebec and Northern Ontario wow. as Hammer. So a little bit of an over curl there from Team Alberta, Steve Thomas. But worked out pretty well. Their shot, their shot rock at the back of the team, at the back of the house. I actually would probably come around if I was Greg Balls and there's a guard up front, I would probably come around to the top of the forefoot and, and try to kind of keep some rocks in play. Don't give this big wall for Alberta to draw to. Sorry about that. But they're Clean. electing yep. to play this Whoa. hit. Clean. And then I would believe yep. we're going to see a freeze attempt from Team Alberta. Hard, guys. Hard trap. Right to it. Okay, 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 okay. All right. And that, well, he gets the roll. But like I said, I think we'll see Team Alberta come down and freeze right on that stone. Looks like he got the roll right behind cover. Uh, you can see about half of it. So the option is to come down and maybe tap that stone out and roll right in front. I personally like the freeze. Even if you tap it a couple of inches, it's very difficult for Team Ontario to remove. 
These in-between weight shots are the hardest shots to throw. The tap attempt from Steve Thomas. And as we said, you overthrow that a little bit, and that just works out terribly for Team Alberta. They remove their own Top stone four. from play. Fight the four. Top eight. And now four. Ontario lies three. But it was just a very difficult I'd like shot. Four foot. So top four here from Team Ontario. Alberta's going to have no choice but to play some sort of freeze. They got to try to find a way to get out of this end. Mine's good. Play to wait. Switch. Have an eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've got to go. Just go. Just go. And they're okay, trying to okay, get this okay, into okay, the fourth. Okay, okay. Four foot. Okay. Good. It's Too a pretty good three. spot. And as I predicted, there's a freeze attempt. This stone is accessible at the top of the top of the four foot. You could probably make that double. But I I don't know. They're in trouble. You can't really you don't really want to give up three. Can see you can see enough of it to get to the nose try to make that double and sit right there so quite a bit of weight trying to make this curl you need to stick around and they do it's a little bit that was quite a bit of weight for that shot the good news for team alberta is that none of those red stones or behind cover. The bad news is that you you don't have last Give rock. Me Give me that same way you're throwing at second end, kind of a. Yep. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. Curtis. Curtis, Curtis, Curtis. And this is Good. a great hit and roll from Ontario third Jordan Keen. Ke sorry, Keon. Now Team Alberta will have a discussion. And I think the only thing they have really is to come down and try to freeze on shot rock. I don't know it's, if they can see enough to make the double here, but even if they can, they're in all kinds of trouble. I don't know what they've decided. I'll have to wait to see when the, where the broom goes down. Wait and see. It looks like they're playing some sort of takeout. Trying to make this hit and roll maybe behind the guard and get lucky and clip that. Or a nose hit double. See what happens. This is a must make from Lyle Kent. Team Alberta is in all kinds of trouble. And again, they're throwing this really hard. Trying to make it curl. With that kind of weight, you're not going to be able to make it curl. 
and a hit and roll out. I, I just think they're Jeff. maybe choosing the wrong Jeff. weight there. If you throw it Jeff, wider, you need foot. to make sure you stick what around. What size is your foot? Okay. We got a guy who blew a, blew a tire. Oh. Sounds like somebody from Team Ontario's shoe. Is uh, something's wrong? Looking for a backup her. shoe? Line's good. Line's good. Fight the four. Looks light. Can't be light on this shot because you oh. know Team Alberta is going to play a freeze. They've got no choice. All the way. This needs to be at least full eight foot. And they're not okay, going to okay, get okay. it there. It's a guard. Massive sigh of relief for Team Alberta because. Blue his shoes. What size is your foot? So now yeah. Close. we have a shot no, no. right there. He blew, like the sole has come off his foot. Well, Greg, if there's a great shoe repair place in the mall, they fixed my curling shoe Shoot. earlier today. Take it. If you win this game, take it between games. So now, see if we can have some Robert Johnson magic. He needs to make this come around. Four shot rock, top of the four foot. Not a comfortable situation drawing against three when you're a skip, but the way the end was going, I think you have to be happy if you're Team Alberta that you actually even have a shot to maybe get out of this end. Boys are working on this early. They need to get it by the guard. In the forefoot, they need to work on this. They need to get it by the guard. Absolutely need to get this by the guard. And they do, but it's going to be short of the rings. What a missed opportunity there from Robert Johnson. Now, Greg Balsden is going to have to take away that you, well, draw. You throw the in, he throws the out. You throw the out, he throws the in. You could just do this, and he's got to... Okay. Great conversation there from Team Ontario. They've got them both ways, so... Third, Jordan Keon told Top his hand. skipper, go here, so that even if... Uh, Robert Johnston makes this really nice draw. It's not slower, right? Eh? Then you still can make a skip's deuce, okay. which is all you're looking for right now. So draw attempt from skip so Greg Ballston. Line's good. Hard if you can. Whoa, 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 line's good! They like the line. The weight should come Trump off. In. Whoa! Oh! The line is good. The weight looks perfect. Very nice draw. Okay. So now the game is on the line. Whoopsie. Robert Johnson needs to come down and freeze right there against one, two, three, four. If he does not make this, it's likely a steal or likely a score of five. Just looking at other sheets, because they're already in the break. Quebec, 
stole two on the men's game to bring that game all square, 3-3 three, three after four. Northern Ontario with hammer. Another st er, a steal for Team Ontario over Team Nova Scotia in the other women's game. They're up commanding 6-1 over Nova Scotia. And then on our final sheet, the women's game, it's still playing the fourth end. And Quebec is looking good for a steal over there over Team New Brunswick. This is a draw attempt. And again, this is not looking like it's moving very fast. These boys have to sweep this. They need to get this in the rings. And they do, but not far enough. And this is an open draw for five. And to take a well, commanding, size nine. The other guys are size 12. commanding lead. <laughs> Same weight. Still worried about the shoe. I'll have to tell them at the fifth end that there's a very kind and amazing more. shoe repair man here in the mall. More. Whoa, 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 whoa. And they like it. He thought he threw more, but it's it looks pretty close to me. And that will be a score of five for Team Ontario. What a great end from Team Ontario. The fans love it, and that will be a big lead for Team Ontario, eight to two after four ends of play. Curling Cares calendar is back for 2023. 25 curling athletes from seven different nations are raising money for various charities. Support them by purchasing yours today at curlingcares.com. When I grow up, I want to be a superhero. I want to be a firefighter. I want to graduate university. I don't know what I want to be. I want to be an archaeologist. I want to be a scientist. Pilot. Coach. Carpenter. I'm going to be a curling champion. Kids dream big. Your support will help them realize their dreams on and off the ice. Thirteen. I remember how excited I was to go to the club. It always felt special. Because of the game, because it was a place where it didn't matter your age or background. In small towns and in big. It's always the same feeling. The feeling that you're at the heart of a community. Because a curling club is a community. Where veterans, Olympians, Paralympians and youth battle for glory one weekend at a time. Curling always felt special to me, because it is special. In a thousand curling clubs across this country, curling invites Canadians to connect and inspires communities to grow. Pride, community, growth. Let's grow together. teaches as much about life as it does about sport. Club, team, house, lead, rock. These are the words of our sport, words we embody, powerful words 
Words that speak to everything we represent. Respect, togetherness, strength. Curling doesn't discriminate. The ice doesn't judge. It adapts. It accepts. Curling isn't a book to be judged by its cover. On these sheets, everyone is on the same page. It's what's on the inside that counts. We dream big. We play with heart. We focus on these circles and imagine podiums in far off places. In a game of inches, every move counts. Are you ready to make yours? The support of the curling community makes it possible for thousands of kids across Canada to follow their dreams on and off the ice. Please give generously. Welcome back to the Everest Canadian Curling Champ Club Championship. We're at the halfway point, the fifth end of this game, and just a commanding lead now from Team Ontario. Played a great and excellent fourth end, got some misses out of Team Alberta, and took five to take a six-point lead. So fairly simple strategy now. Alberta wants lots of rocks in play, and Ontario will hit everything that is yellow. <laughs> they want all those yellow rocks gone. Mm -hmm. Try to limit the scoring if they can. But uh, I, I change, I go through. I uh, uh, told trailer feet Team lot. Ontario that. I really grind it for some reason when I slide. Just listen to them chat, but I was just, I mentioned to Team Ontario at the break that I found that excellent shoe repair shop. Uh, and I think one of their family or friends or somebody went looking for it. So if they managed to win this game. Hopefully they can find a way to get that shoe fixed in time. And uh, just to update our final score, uh, it's a little bit of a slower game, but they did finish four, and New Brunswick found a way to score. I didn't see what happened, but it would have been a pretty tough shot by the looks of it. So it's 3-3. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Quebec has the hammer in that game. We haven't seen two New Brunswick on our broadcast, but we were talking to the girls, and I've been watching a little bit. They've had a fabulous week playing very well. Bit, 
Another guard attempt. And the guard is made successfully. And so a come around here from Team Ontario. Kind of love that moose call. I agree, Greg. <laughs> it's so fun. But everybody here that doesn't know a lot about curling in West Edmonton Mall wonders what the heck is that noise? The Northern Ontario moose. Picking. And again, it, it's very hard on a, on arena ice to have brooms off. It sometimes grabs, it's not even a flat spot, it's just a fresh spot or, and it t turns the trajectory of the stone, but nice. perfectly made. See what Robert Johnson elects to do. I like this. So they're playing that in between hack, uh, tap weight. Sorry about that. Trying to tap this stone back this way and have your shooter roll. Get some rocks at the back of the house that maybe you could use for freeze. You're trying to get, they need multiple points here. Two, three, four. The more the better for Team Alberta. Very nice weight, taps it back. And Try to clip it. Trying the double peel. the double but the guard remains in play nice shot I like the guard the problem with the guard is you really need more than two points unfortunately This rock is sliding. They called the guard and it looks like it may come in the house. And unfortunately, it's just gonna end up in the worst spot. And there is a double there, fairly easy double. And Steve Thomas is disappointed. Just not quite working out on his shots right now. Clean, clean. Easy, 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 easy. Still <laughs> falling. Jeez. Um, okay. The miss of the double is pretty hard to miss that. You just had to hit anywhere more than basically a third of the rock, but hit a, about a quarter. Stuck around. So now the come around attempt. Light. 
And I don't know if the speed's changed today, but the players are really struggling getting those draws in the right spot. So that comes up late. I think Ontario is going to play the takeout just because of the score. Trying to hit and roll, not create a pocket. Whoa, right off. And that looks a bit wide again. Greg Balsden lets us know exactly what's happening when players let it go. That looks wide and, oh, okay. worked out pretty well. Made the double. <laughs> I'm gonna poke. Greg is quite interesting to listen to. Now for Team Alberta, the come around attempt. Change the turns. It may be a little bit different speed. The boy said just a little bit more and it looks like he threw it. Looks pretty close. She looks a little bit heavy if anything. Comes all the way to the back one. Nice shot from Lyle Kent and now the freeze attempt from Greg Balls and he's pretty happy with that shot. Or I can peel a yellow. Those are the options. That's peel a yellow. Again, this is a scoreboard call. Yeah. They're gonna peel the yellow just to make sure that they don't give up any more than two points. Should have access to a hit by doing this. Don't worry about it. Yeah. No. Yep, 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 yep. Hard trap, hard trap. Okay, 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 okay. And a nice peel attempt. You can hear them say that little Christmas tree action. I think they're trying to draw around this guard uh, and make it here so that you can't see, you can only see a half of this stone. It doesn't look visually very good. And then this stone is guarded by the guard that's up here. Pretty exact uh, draw from Skip Robert Johnson. No matter where you put this, Greg Balsden will have a hit attempt to just limit the, uh, Team Alberta to two. Uh, go. Top 12. Top eight. Top eight. And they're short of the rings. Robert's just been a little bit off with his draw weight, coming up short. But this will be a, well, a, a hit I attempt. Now do you like the freeze? Now do you like the freeze? What they were saying is even if they make this hit, likely going to take out tough, this rock. They're going to lose easy. these two stones in the You're shooter right, roll to play. That is a very easy split if I kill everything. Right, and that's what Greg just said, is that this is a, then Team Alberta makes that split for two. Yeah, There's that. no three, so they're going to try to make the freeze. Uh, I, that, should, that, should be, that should be the line. Got it. No, but if I blast everything, it's a real easy split. 
I mean, do you leave him the real easy split? I, I think if we're if top four even, it's a tough deuce. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Line's good. Line's good. Easy. Trev's in. Trev's in. Easy. We're way, way wide. Has to be heavy. Has to be heavy. Nope. This has to curl. The weight was really good, Greg. He thought it was heavy because it wasn't curling, but the weight was perfect. So now a hack weight shot. You could throw this quieter. You really just need to tap this stone back about a foot. We have to avoid touching that stone there. And a perfect shot from Robert Johnson. And that will be a big two points to close the gap to eight to four after five ends of play. Welcome back. Well, that gives Alberta a little bit of hope. They managed to score their two points to close the gap, but they're in all kinds of trouble still down four points. And they're going to need some misses from Team Ontario. Lots of guards and then some misses. And here we are, the guard and then the come around attempt, how we start most of our most of our games. I don't know if Robert's got slower rocks or if it's just a little bit slower day, because he's been excellent with draw weight all week and just coming up just that little bit short. He had a couple chances in the fourth end to get his team out of trouble and just was a little bit light on his draw attempts. Something good must have happened for Northern Ontario. I heard that moose call. And looking stop. over, it looks like Quebec was forced to a Just single stop. point in the fifth end on the women's game to take a 4-3 lead. It's the only score I can see right now. I'll let you know. Another nice guard from Team Alberta. They need rocks in front of the house. See if their Ontario can make another perfect draw. That first stone went a little bit too deep, so you want this full four.
Oh, and it looks like another steal of one Hi for Ontario over Nova Scotia on the women's semifinal action. So Gotta go. Ontario has a commanding 7-1 lead playing the sixth end. Okay, line's not bad now. It's going to over curl for sure. Let's make sure it's in the forefoot. Yes. And Greg knows yes. he needs this in the forefoot because that stone is Four on points. the button. This oh, is okay. just a... That's that nice straight seven rock. Again, talking about the stones, they feeling like the seven rock is a little bit straight. Letting everybody know back home. Seven straight. Because <laughs> yeah. that should over curl for sure. Thanks, Greg. I'll make that note in my little rock book. Now Alberta is just trying to make some come arounds. They're gonna have to take some chances. Trying to get this around the stone that was just thrown from Team Ontario, but it looks like it's a bit light. So it'll just be another guard. Again, just not quite sharp on those draws. This is the one, this is the one. Just... And then the last game to update, so the two women's games this we've up one. updated, uh, it, they're still playing. So they're playing the, I'm trying to look, they're playing the sixth end. I don't see what happened in the fifth. Oh, it was a blank. So still 3-3 three, three. and Northern Ontario with hammer. Oh, yeah. Nice peel. It's like my first car, automatic. <laughs> I don't know. Now let me give oh. it a go. So we got lots of guards in play. That's all Alberta can ask for. So now it's another come around. I'm going to put up another guard. Trying to waste a couple rocks. So this is Steve Thomas. Looks like a nice guard. Trying to make sure they line them up so there's no double takeout. And as predicted, another peel. Yes. From Curtis Samoy. Plane. Well done. Yeah. That freeze to maybe your second one. Oh, maybe not. Interesting, we were talking to the Northern Ontario men last night and they were here, I can't remember the year, a few years ago at the Canadian Curling Club Championship and they actually played Quebec in the semi-final which they're doing right now, they won, and then they played Ontario in the final, which could very well happen if both Ontario and Northern Ontario sure. win, and they ended up losing to Paul Moffat, a very a great curler of Ontario, very good friend of my husband's, uh, and they lost that final game. So they want a little bit of redemption. They're really hoping they can beat Quebec and have an opportunity to play in that final game. Another peel. Clean, 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 clean. Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> I love the way Greg says that. Okay. So we'll see. When is... Team Alberta are going to take a chance, and here they go. This is their opportunity. This is when they want to third last. you got to make a good draw. You can go for it now, Lyle. Taking lots of ice, hoping to catch that big swoop at the end, but you need shot rocks. You need this right on the button. Lyle knows how big this is. Sweepers have to put it there. All there. 
And they think okay. it's heavy, unfortunately, so that won't catch that swoop. Staying Good close luck. to it, though. Still looks like it's just running heavy. And that actually is going to slide all the way through the rings. Just can't find that draw weight today, unfortunately. And oh, that I stopped. I that down. Stop, but it's still third shot. Nothing for Ontario to be concerned about. So the question is, what do you do here? Time out. We can listen to Ontario, but quite by peeling, they may open up the freeze and make it actually easier for Team Alberta. Oh yeah, it's gonna take a minute anyway. It doesn't matter. This is it's either that. I guess yeah, we either do that or we draw, right? Yeah. I mean, he's got to make a really good tap. I, I don't mind him making something tough. I, I'd love it if you got it there. This is a question of whether you... Yeah, I think you got to beat him to it right there. Right here. Whether you try to go for the score and really like, kind of close this game off, you have such a big lead. You just can't hang or you protect the score and make sure that you don't give up a steal. Okay. What do you like? How is that? How is that only 15 seconds? So they've decided that this is a chance to really close this game off. They're going to try to come around, put it top four, and then force Alberta into making a very difficult tap. Got the great yep. weight. It catches that big Point swoop. Great. All you. And it Point looks great. like the sweepers so, sure. like go. it. Go, They're go, trying go, go, to get go. it buried. Nice shot. And that's exactly where Greg Balls and tapped his broom. Very nice shot from Ontario third Jordan Keon. So in trouble. They are going to play this tap on this yellow stone and try to tap it all the way to the button. Those are some of the hardest shots in curling. It's hard to get the weight and the line exactly perfect. They're always, you have to throw these always a little bit harder than you think. So many people watching today. It's our probably our biggest crowd. We have uh, the upstairs banisters full of people play off Saturday. Catching this action. Uh, hack. Hack, hack weight. So they're thinking it's a little bit heavy. Eight. And I'm, because it's heavy, it's not going to curl. They're really trying to make this move. And just ticks. Just yep. ticks the stone. The weight was probably yeah, actually not good. far off. Just that little bit yep. heavy. So now, if Greg Ballston can put a rock here, I'm Don't not sure what Alberta does. All like kinds of trouble. To too much. I don't know. I think there's good. Sorry, what did we say to that? Donk. Hey. Anywhere on the line. Top eight. Uh, don't don't overcurl it. No, no, no. Don't touch the center line. Yeah, yeah. Is edge on edge with that yellow? Yeah, edge on edge on that yellow. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, they don't want to get this buried risk of overbearing and giving Got Alberta it. maybe a sniff of a chance to make a draw. If they can have this wide open full eight foot, I think Ontario is almost guaranteed to score multiple points. One, at least one, 
likely two or three. Line's tight. Line's tight. Line tight is not a good sign. You want to make sure you sweep it then. Keep your broom down. Looks like this is really curling. And it in a pretty good spot, but over curled just that little bit. You can see if this stone is over here, makes the draw very hard. By it stopping there, there's some glimmer of hope. You may be able to just get by that stone and freeze. It's a pretty tough shot, but at least it's something for Team Alberta. All or nothing here. You either make this or you game is over. The good news for Greg Balzen is though this rock is a little exposed, you might have something on that side anyway. See what they have to say here. Definitely going to be a score in the Northern Ontario Quebec Mother Men's semifinal. Lots of rocks in play. Pretty good. Keep you posted. It's hard for me to see who shot rock and what's happening. And this rock is running. Robert's been light on every draw, and he gave this one just a little bit more. I don't think it's going to get there. And that might go too far. Ontario lies three, and this is going to be a draw attempt for four or a takeout for five. It looks like they're content for the four points. Don't want to risk doing any damage, and this is a draw from Greg Balsden for four and really end this game. I got the donk comment on air. Nah, nah. No, draw for four is good. It looks like Quebec stole something over on the other men's semifinal on Northern Ontario. They're shooting first, so I'll let you know how many they stole. It's, uh, it's heavy, it's heavy, it's heavy. Yeah, backing. Whoa, Curtis, whoa, Curtis. Yeah, backing. Looks like a steal of a single point for Team Quebec. So. They take one to go up 4-3, playing the seventh end on Northern Ontario. And that will do it for four points for Team Ontario to take an eight-point lead after their six ends of play. And that will be handshakes. Ontario winning this first semifinal, making it on to the final, which will be shown later today at 3 o'clock local time. And we'll wait to see who they will play. They're still in their seventh end of play. Thanks for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you at the finals.